Tech news isn't just information. It's also a state of mind. <laughs> but tech news isn't just a state of mind. It's also information. Write that down. Details about Intel's upcoming Arrow Lake S platform have leaked, lending credence to rumors that Team Blue plans to kill hyperthreading, which allows two threads to run on a single core. Reliable hardware leaker Yuki Yans, sure, on Twitter initially published excerpts from an alleged Intel document before removing the tweet. So unfortunately, only 90% of the internet was able to get screenshots. It doesn't do anything. According to these documents, Arrow Lake S processors will feature the same core count as the current 14th gen Raptor Lake refresh tips and will have hyperthreading disabled on performance cores. Rumors have been swirling since at least July of last year that Arrow Lake would ditch hyperthreading in favor of something called rentable units. Allegedly, Intel's plans here are influenced by the Royal Core project thought up by legendary CPU architect Jim Keller during his brief stint at Intel. A potential replacement for hyperthreading has been detailed in a patent filed by Intel about a year ago, but nothing is definitive at this point. And the documents leaked on Twitter specifically reference a pre-alpha Arrow Lake S CPU. So maybe take all of this with some salt. And not just because tech news is always a little tastier, properly seasoned. How could you not eat me? I'm delicious. <laughs> Even though HP is facing a class action lawsuit for forcing printer owners to use first party ink cartridges, the company's CEO seemed pretty relaxed during a CNBC interview showing off his yoga skills by repeatedly putting his foot in his mouth. Big Cheese Enrique Lores said that when someone buys a printer from HP, the company is investing in that customer. If that customer doesn't print enough or use enough supplies, they are a bad investment. Lores also said that the company's long-term strategy is to make printing a subscription, saying it reduces the barriers to print. And that's true, if you give HP enough money each month, they'll reduce the number of barriers stopping you from using your own printer. <laughs> Just love when I get those printer of the month boxes. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair to Enrique Lores, blocking HP printer owners from using third-party ink cartridges protects them from being hacked at least according to cybersecurity expert Enrique Lores. In another memorable quote, Lores states viruses can be embedded in third-party cartridges to infect your network through your printer. Somewhat backing up this claim is research firm Actionable Intelligence, who showed this type of attack was possible in 2022 as a response to a bug bounty put out by HP. Of course, the paper detailing that attack came out six years after HP started blocking third-party ink. They were probably just being safe. But that's the type of forward thinking that Hewlett Packard is best known for. They're basically precogs. <laughs> <laughs> the GeForce RTX 4070 Super's launch sales are a disappointment, at least according to YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead and several other outlets that are quoting Moore's Law is Dead. Uh, we don't want to be hard on these rumors, but what they're saying feels kind of counterintuitive based on how well the card has been reviewed. However, most reviewers only discuss the Founders Edition version sold straight from Nvidia. Moore's Law is Dead sources claim the sale of partner cards was struggling because most are priced over MSRP. Okay. MLID claims an add-in board partner called sales a disaster and he allegedly talked to a small US retailer who claimed they rejected a supply of about 200 add-in board cards because most were priced between $620 and $650 and they felt it would be nearly impossible to sell a 12 gigabyte GPU for over 600 bucks. Get your grains of salt ready though, because Moore's Law further claimed he spoke with a GPU scalping collective that said they are canceling the orders their bots made after seeing the bad sales. Nvidia themselves has claimed these leaks don't represent the full picture, of course they would. And at least one retailer, Scan Computers in the UK, said they had great success with the 4070 Super Launch. Okay, but like maybe shut up before the scalpers hear you, you know, just, just trying to help. Oh man, these oh, graphic such a... cards suck <laughs> oh, what so a horrible, much. Horrible launch. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Blinkist. They want to help you start the new year off right by getting you wicked smart. Blinkist takes large, sometimes multi-topic non-fiction books and breaks them up into bite-sized, digestible chunks. It's perfect for listening during your daily commute or morning jog, because nothing gets the heart rate pumping like knowledge. 
Their huge library of over 6,500 nonfiction books covers diverse topics like business, self-help, and most relevantly, technology. You can choose from titles like New Dark Age by James Bridle or Sun Tzu's Art of War so you can learn the right way to crush your enemies. You can also fine tune your experience with the new Blinkist AI, which will give you personalized recommendations from Blinkist Library. You can even add, share, and recommend titles with friends and family using Blinkist Spaces. And that's cool because all members of a shared space can check out the titles in that space even without a premium subscription. Head on over to the link below and get a free seven day trial of Blinkist Premium and 25% off an annual subscription. Tech news isn't just information and a state of mind, it's also occasionally quick bits. But tech news isn't just quick bits. It's also NVIDIA's RTX Remix software is now in open beta, allowing almost any modder to remaster old games with AI upscaled features, ray tracing, and even DLSS compatibility. It's so easy, yet Bethesda couldn't figure it out for Starfield at large. <laughs> The tech is built on Team Green's Omniverse 3D graphics platform and should work for nearly any DirectX 8 or 9 game. Nvidia even partnered with mod info site ModDB, the DB of mods, to make it the de facto DB for RTX Remix compatible games and community made mods. Finally, all your favorite classic games can catch up to modern standards by also being too graphically demanding for your PC. <laughs> I really feel like they're part of the club. Last Friday, Japan successfully landed an unmanned spacecraft on the surface of the moon, making them only the fifth nation to do so. But that success comes with an asterisk. We didn't make an asteroid pun there? Could've, moving on. <laughs> After landing, the Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, or SLIM, is that real? Yes. <laughs> was unable to generate power using its solar array. After its battery dipped down to 12%, Slim shut down in order to reserve what little power it had left in hopes of a recovery effort, rather than ritually disemboweling itself, as is the custom. <laughs> as for the realistic odds that the craft will ever be retrieved, they're currently slim to none. <laughs> Jessica. Seriously though, that kinda sucks, sorry Japan. <laughs> Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo estimates that Apple sold somewhere in the neighborhood of 160,000 to 180,000 Vision Pro headsets during the pre-order weekend. It was already predicted that the demand would be so high that the stock available for the official February 2nd launch would sell out, but now the shipping times for all models have been pushed by five to seven weeks. However, since the shipping times haven't changed since then, it looks like demand for the product has cooled off. I guess Apple will have to settle for a mere $560 million in revenue. I know it sounds like a lot, but that's a trillion dollar company, F. They're getting detention from the EU. Uh, <laughs> Meta has confirmed that users in the European Economic Area and Switzerland will be able to unlink their Facebook accounts from Instagram and interestingly from Messenger, which will have its own separate accounts. But if you thought the Zuck is making this move out of the goodness of the bionic pump that serves as his heart, nope. The change is meant to ensure Meta complies with the EU's Digital Markets Act, because the EU isn't only gunning for Apple. It's coming for all the tech giants. You guys are so dead. And I'm fine with that as long as they don't classify me as a gatekeeper next, unless they add Gaslight Girl Boss to the end, then it's okay. And SpaceX is pulling its ambitions back down to Earth by allegedly planning to open a restaurant and shopping center near its launch testing facility in Texas. According to filings with the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, the two projects will cost the rocket company $15 million, or exactly the amount of money Elon Musk found in an old pair of jeans. The kind of food the restaurant will serve is still unknown, but we all know the starter section is gonna have something called X, the everything appetizer. All right. But I know you are gonna come back on Wednesday for more Tech Link. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode and thanks again to Blinkist for sponsoring the video. Click the link below to check them out and subscribe. Love you Blinkist and love you again. Just make sure, did you hear me when I said that? I didn't say it. Stay back. <laughs>